Uh, hello, this is a short video on how to download and install and then run a terminal app um, for the, I'm going to do it for the Mac and a PC starting with a Mac and this is a tool that we'd use to see it's a very valuable for navigators to have this cool term loaded on your machine because then you can test to see to be sure you've got the real data coming into the computer if your nav app or navigation or weather app doesn't show the data coming in then we always wonder is the data really coming in from the instrument or is there some problem on the configuration of the navigation program and so forth so it's really nice to have a direct test to see that the data signals the NEMA signals are coming from the device to your computer, and that's what this app will do. And it's called Coulter. Oh, here it is. I just did a test a while ago. This Coulter, and this is actually it, the top one here, Roger Myers Freeware. And then you would just roll down here. And for the Mac, we're going to get this one. For the PC, it would probably be this one. Okay, so I'm going to get that. I just click that, and then I'll store it down here. Oh, you see, I've already done it. So here's the program here. Uh, and then uh, replace it. That, that doesn't matter. And then once you get it, you can run it. And then just drag it to your applications. I've got one already there, so I'm not going to replace it. I'm just going to say stop, and it's done. And then you can go. And, and you can put it then in your taskbar. But if I go here now to my applications, and then a cool term will be there after I dragged it in there. Cool term. There it is right there. And then you double click it and that's open it. And this is what it looks like. It's that simple interface. And then this program, this, inter this, this terminal application will do a lot of things, very sophisticated things. But all we want is very simple. Very simple, we don't have to do anything. So we, first of all, we go to options to connect, and these will be the various connections. Now I can also uh, say cancel, I can rescan them, but it's going, to show, it's going to show a lot of connections. Some are there and some are not there. But let's just say, for example, one of our things we're interested in is our barometer. We have a USB, very nice little USB barometer, and we can check to see if it's really putting signals into the computer. And it's plugged in. I've got three things plugged into this computer, this Mac computer right now to demo. One is this USB barometer. The other is a direct link to our AIS. Ter we have an AIS antenna on the roof, and we get all these AIS signals that you could well have on your boat. And the other thing I have set up here on my desk is a, uh, an N2K uh, uh, bus bar with several things on it. It's got a GPS. It's got, a bar it's got another barometer, and it's got a heading sensor. So we're just going to see how that would look on your boat uh, if you did that. And so this one, now USB, and you can experiment to see which is which by just clicking these. But if I click this one and say, and then for now, these have optimum baud rates and so forth. But if it's, as long as it's 8N1, this is going to work regardless of what this is. Normally, the NEMA is 4800, but this doesn't matter. You say OK, and then connect. Now, if, now, if it's working, then you'll see the signals. These are the NMEA signals uh, from our USB barometer. This is our device, and it's putting out two NEMA sentences that are common on navigation equipment to read a barometer. One is XDR and one is MDA. And so you see the signals there. It's putting out a signal once every second. Okay, that's that. Stop. Now I go in here. What is a new SB? What's, what's this one? I think this is the, uh, this is the N2K bus bar. Uh, so let's go. Oh, well, and it's got a, that's N2K, but then I've got a NEMA 183 gateway coming out, right? Coming out of it. So I'm reading... I'm reading 183 signals out of an N2K bus bar. And say, OK, let's see what we get here. Well, I can clear this and say connect. And there they are. This is from this. The, the equipment we have is from a, a company called Yacht Devices. And here is their signals. These are the GPS signals here. Uh, that's a heading signal. This is actually the heading sensor right here, this heading sensor, HDG. And then somewhere barometer, um, oh, here's barometer. So here's barometer, and then there's a heading. And the rest of these are just standard 
uh, standard GPS signals that you know tell us where we are and how good the satellites are and things like that. So, but the main thing, we're just using this tool right now just to see that there are honest to goodness real signals coming in. And I'm just showing a couple examples. So if we stop and clear that, what's the other one I have? Oh, the AIS signals. Uh, and my AIS signals are on this one right here. Four, yeah, 14701. And you can always just experiment to see what's there and let's see, yeah, there's AIS signals, which always look like this. That's their heading or their signature here. And so these are the AIS signals. These are uh, vessels that we see from our roof in uh, Puget Sound, yeah, out in Puget Sound. We're overlooking Puget Sound. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show with this. I'm going to stop this and then do a similar one uh, for the PC. And again, if you don't know when, the, the question is, which one of these is the right one to choose? Well, I'm not sure you're gonna have all of these. I play with this all the time and I have various things plugged in here and I'm surprised that rescanning doesn't get rid of them, but there may be some of these Bluetooth things actually running that I don't know about. But it, you can always just turn it on and see if the signals are coming out right or not. Okay, so that's, that's that tool. So I'm gonna shut that off and stop this video. Uh, we don't need to save. It's so easy to set up, you don't need to save anything. And then you just turn it on whenever you need it. Okay, I'm going to stop.